Welcome back to my channel. So I have the four decks, the of Lost Caverns of Excellent Commander decks. This this video will be dedicated to one of them, and you'll find the, the remaining three in the channel. So this video will be dedicated to Explorers of the Deep. This is a red and blue deck, a Merfolk deck that will have mechanics around plus one plus one counters and explore for lands and buffs. And we got here the main commander, which is Akbal. Um, so explore the depths with Akbal and his fellow Merfolks that grow over time with plus one plus one counters. Once you've deployed your team, Akbal will lead them to explore for enough buffs and mana to change the tide of the battle. As a researcher of water currents and flow, the Merfolk Akbal guides his explorers away from danger and towards exciting new wonders. Okay, so let's see what is inside this deck. So while I open this, if you are a fan of magic, I truly invite you to check the channel and leave a like if that's the case, because I have lots of content and subscribe. I have, a, I have lots of content for magic. So, Brian, Brian, Brian and punishment. Punishment sounds good, especially if you're punishing others. So let's save it. So what you find inside is the deck, the tokens, we'll get there. First, let's see here this nice envelope. I'll throw it away now. And what you get is the boxes for you to store your deck. You need to set up and you have Aqual there. Looking good. And uh, you have life counter, which is a general one, not customized for this set. And a, a very nice the Lost Caverns of Excellent Collector's Booster Sample Pack, where we will get the cavern of souls cavern of souls here guys trust me cavern of soul of souls in three two one point plaza yeah so that's the dinosaur that's the command leader for the other deck so mm -hmm. and nikanzil current conductor foil yeah Cool, then we go here and inside we get the deck and the tokens and we'll get, we'll get there as the last thing. And we also get this piece of paper <clears throat> that will give you more details about the deck, the strategy to play the deck and remind you about the commander rules. <clears throat> There's Akbal. So a bit of lore about Akbal. Akbal is an aquologist, a spellcaster and scientist who studies the movements of currents, advances of erosion and in intricacies of fluid dynamics. Wow. It was that important for th those guys? Maybe yes. He uses his knowledge to reform his magic, guide his allies, confound, confound his enemies and shape water itself into a weapon more powerful than steel. Wow, it's like Aquaman here. A leader among the vanguard of the River Herald's exploration corps below excellent surface, Akbal was one of the first to delve into the depths and is most familiar with the hazards and curiosities of the world's caverns. During the invasion, so the invasion must be the Phyrexian invasion, right? The River Heralds fought a valiant but prudent defensive campaign. Unable to defeat invaders on the field, they elected to seek ancient paths underground, where the vastness, the vastness darkness would provide countless places for the heralds to hide. Akbal, using his magic and wits, led the first group down into the dark caverns, guiding them away from dangers and towards wonder. Others followed his lead, and the heralds found safety underground, avoiding the worst of the invasion and preserving excellence long memory from the Phyrexian's gasp. Still, Phyrexian, Phyrexian invasion, so when does the story change? <coughs> it feels like it, it has been the whole year discussing Phyrexians, March of the Machines, converting guys to Phyrexians, and we are not moving forward with that. Maybe next year with the new sets announced, we'll finally put the, the final 
final mark on the Phyrexian story. I know it's an important one, but yeah, let's move forward. Let's move forward to other things. Okay. Phyrexian is a good way for you to reprint old cards. So let's keep the tokens apart for now. And let's take a look at the commanders. So, Akbal. Four mana is a 3-3 at the beginning of combat on your turn. Each merfolk creature you control, which is like all, almost all cards, explores. And if you're not familiar with explore so you reveal the top card of your library put that card into your hand if it's land otherwise you put a plus one plus one plus one plus one counter on the creature then you can decide if the card stays and you can explore 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 more and more folks and give them plus one plus one or the card goes to your graveyard if you need lands and then when you have re attacks you can put a land card down or draw cards so this guy ramps ramps very fast very 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 fast it's a danger a danger and the secondary commander is this worm Zylo Toyak Zylo no Zola Toyak the smiling flood six 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 whenever this guy enters the battlefield or attacks put a flood counter on target land that land is an island in addition to its other types but as long as you had the flood counter at the beginning of your end step and and tap each permanent you control with a counter on it okay so i guess the strategy here is to there are lots of merfolks with island walk so this guy is creating islands and um, you untap so it's like you have vigilance Every, everyone will them will have plus one plus ones probably most of them um because they will explore a lot cool Looks good, looks good, so the cards now. Miss Dancer, a flying merfolk that gives fly and plus one. So this looks like the a sliver deck. They all give abilities to each other. You proliferate, which is increasing the, the counters with this one. Wave goodbye, so that's the board wipe. Creatures without plus one, plus one, go back to owner's hands. Bygone marvels, a descent. Okay. Deep root historian. These merfolks now look very different. Where, for my time, merfolks were like, like people from the water, not with legs, etc., with a fish tails, and now they they look a bit different. Uh, tributary instructor, S singer of swift rivers. They look like they have feathers on their head. And now this looks like it has fins. So Benthic Biomancer. Which has a dab. Okay, so I hate these cards. Coral Helm Commander. Oh, there's a Planeswalker here. No, whoa, no, wait. It's not a Planeswalker. That's a level up. Okay. Put a level counter. So you pay and you level up. And then he get, you get, you gets this. And he gets this. I don't know from where this mechanic of the level up came, <clears throat> but I think it's it's good. You can improve your creatures. Um, which set brought this? Was it was it the Desert Dragon set? Probably, but you don't see that a lot. Curse of the Swine, exile creatures, and you get boars for that. So those are warriors turned into pigs, right? You can see the the helmets there. Emperor Mihail II. Why does he need to ride the horse with <laughs> with legs underwater? Herald of the Secret Streams. Kindred Discovery. Kopala, Warden of the Waves. Murfalls cost less. No, your opponents. Okay, so they have War too, something like that. <clears throat> Master of the Pearl Titan. Trident, sorry. Merfolk Sovereign. Reflections of Lijara. I've seen this in other decks. A Seafloor Oracle. The Spur Surge Spanner. There's a mythic here. Silune of Sea and Sky. A Merfolk God. That's the God of the Merfolks. Wow. 
and another merfolk god here or no it's just a god but Tassa, god of the sea which is uh you scry target your control can be blocked so it gives unblockable teething skydiver branching evolution what's happening here if one plus one plus encounter will be uh, twice that okay and then you have the dinosaurs on the back evolving or something deep root elite Arden scales that's an armor realm waker shapeshifter ruinous intrusion there's a werewolf attacking the merfolks wow that's a horror japanese horror creature kumena tyrant of the or oraska legendary merfolk prime speaker zigana so this one is very powerful because enters the battlefield with x plus one plus one and you draw cards equal to that and x is the power the greatest power among your creatures so this one is whoosh, whoosh. Quandrix command so go back to uh, Strixhaven here with this card Simic ascendancy Tishana voice of thunder equal to the number of cards in your hand you have no maximum size when Tishana is the field you draw a card for each creature you control interesting combos here with this one Pharrell the whole clade double the target double the number of, of counters <laughs> Okay, so there's that key merfolk with lots of counters. You just double them. Zigana. Okay. Now it gives trample and plus one to merfolks. Metallic mimic. Um, okay, so it gives plus one, plus one to merfolks. And then the lands here. Hideaway land. The typical ones that we always see with these archetypes, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, uh, rap, rapid hybridization. It's becoming a merfolk. Raven form. Gives a bird. Okay. Beast within. Nikonzil, the current conductor. Ocean Sage, explore. Inspiring call. Kodama's Reach, Growth Spiral, Kiora's Follower, Merfolk Mist Binder, Merfolk Skydiver, Tatiofa, Bentic Druid, Big One, the Spheres, the Signets, the Command Towers, Lanwar Reborn, and I guess we are getting to the and tail of the deck with the forests and the islands okay <clears throat> and then what we have here so we have the plastic version of the commander hard rigid one then merfolk 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 with x proofs normal merfolks and then the bird the beast the frog lizard the boars they still have the helmets around <laughs> and the map map some cards give you map and copies what is it so yeah there it is so this was explorers of the deep i hope you enjoyed it and you'll now learn more about and you know more about this deck so if you do don't forget then to leave a like and uh, consider subscribing after checking the channel and the content that i have there for magic and many other card games and board games in general so thank you for that i see you on the next one